Okay, uh, today we're going to cover Blueprint uh, CSS grid-based layouts, and uh, this is an extension or an enhancement to a feature we've been using for a couple of years. So Blueprint is a framework for CSS layouts that is great because it, it gives you a very consistent way to build web pages that render the same way in all the browsers. So we are big fans of it, and what we've done now is we've extended this to uh, blueprint grid based content so that you can have better control over how you lay out things in the page. So, for starters, uh, I'm on a simple page here where I just have some HTML text. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the HTML and I'm going to drop it in a grid so you can see what a grid looks like, and then I'll explain how all this works. So, I'm going to open up Pilot on this page, and just to show you what I have here, I'll open this up and I've got a page with just one HTML element. So I'm going to go and create a new thing called a grid. So grid's like an inner page. It's just a, a section that you can drop in the page and put things in. But what's nice about the grid is you can organize it in a, a column-based fashion. So I know that by default we build all our sites with 24 column grids. And depending on how your site is laid out, you might have uh, different regions or space where you might need a smaller grid. But 24 is the max for us. Um, and I'm just going to save this thing. So I have a grid in my page. Now I'm going to move the HTML into the grid just so we can see how this is going to look and then we can uh, cover some more details there. So I'm going to pick up the HTML and then I'm going to come back to my grid and I'm going to share it in there. So when I come back to my page it's going to look pretty much the same but I've adjusted the style sheet to display the grid when I'm in a grid. Okay, so like I said before, I created a 24 column grid, so if you count them across, you'll see there's 24 columns here. Um, and then I can do things from here. I can go and change the grid dimensions and things if I want to. So say I want my grid to only be 18 columns. I can edit it, and I'm going to jump right into the HTML through uh, Ace Editor here. And if I back up to my grid, I can set the grid dimensions. So I can change it and say, well, this is really going to be 18 columns, and save it. Okay, so now I've got a smaller grid, 18 columns. You can see how it fits in the page. All right, now what I want to do though, I'm going to go back and I'm going to jump back into Pilot here so I can do create some new content parts. So I'm going to edit this grid directly. I'm going to set it back to 24 columns. And then I'm going to take the HTML content that's in the grid and I'm going to basically copy it. No, this is it already here, and I'm going to dupe it back into the page so I have two things. All right, so a grid by default, if you don't tell it how big the things are that are in it, the grid is smart and will figure out how big the thing should be. So I've got two things in a grid. Oh, it says, hey, I got two. 24 divided by two is 12, makes each of them 12 columns. All right, so this is really powerful when you want to lay out multi column layouts or anything like that and know that you're going to have an exact uh, equal number of columns for each section. So I can go back to my grid and now I can take it and create a third part, do it in there. And if I refresh my page now, I'll have a three column grid. Each one will be eight columns. Okay, see how that's working? Now grids are great for other things too. You can put other types of content in grids. So uh, let's get rid of uh, one of these HTML sections and create a new picture in my grid. So now I'm going to throw a picture in the grid, and I've got a default one here that I'll use. So I'm going to go find an image that is actually 960 pixels wide. I'm going to upload that and save it. Okay, so what you're seeing in the grid, I've got HTML, HTML, and a picture. I still have three things. I come back and refresh my page. The grid is smart enough to resize the images to fit exactly in the spot where it lives. Okay, so this is just a starter on grid-based layout. Tomorrow we'll cover some more in-depth things like how to put grids inside of grids. All right, hope you find this helpful, and thanks for your time.